Get. I felt that. So I got my tire fixed and, and the tractor painted since I had to fix the tire, which apparently makes me a geek. geek. Is that what they say? Ultimate yeah. nerd, I think oh, it nerd. was. Ultimate nerd. Yeah. Whatever. I, I don't. Nerd. I don't think it was a negative. Oh, I know. Connotation thing. I've always been a nerd. And I think whoever commented that appreciated <laughs> what you were doing. Now we'll get the tires put back on it so we can move it. Um, it won't be usable till we get the sheet metal painted, which is in there. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough where we can't hear the radio so we don't get censored for that. But if you remember, Marissa took the sheet metal, not scrap, to Kadat to get sandblasted. It's not scrap. Um, and this is, what do you call this putty stuff? Uh, bondo, bondo. Bondo to fill in like the little dents and stuff. So that's dried on there. It'll be sanded and then he'll get all these pieces of not scrap painted red. Stay tuned. I apologize to those who didn't want to see any more tractor stuff involved with horses but uh well, if it wasn't for the tractors we wouldn't have a clean barn for mowed pastures or i guess most importantly hey hey and it was like literally one person out of several thousand that didn't like it so whatever here we go there's midge supervising midge you gotta turn around you're not even watching Concerned. Oh no, she don't like that tall grass there. She's gonna take care of that. So this has to line up here. Cause this is what, what drives the wheel. It's gotta lock in. sure my toe can't do that. I have a better tool for this. Yeah. That was lovely. Wilbur's got some hoof. <laughs> the cleanup crew. Gotta try to keep them even otherwise the wheel will go like that when you go down the road. Which probably won't really matter for this tractor because it really won't go down the road. What's this tractor gonna do? Um, it's mainly on the on the manure spreader. So when we clean barn, this is what we use the empty manure spreader. Well, what about the tractor that's on the manure spreader now? That one will go down the road more because that's meant for more for raking hay and stuff like that, possibly baling hay. Oh. They all have their place. All ten of them. That's why we have six. 
Like I always say, the newest one is 50 years old, so we have to have backups. Moment of truth. Let's stare it up. It looks much less squishy than it did before. Happy news. New tires, new inner tube, and new paint makes everything better. Especially the paint. This is way easier than putting the tires on the on the 48,000 I had to do yesterday. Which you didn't record. No, I didn't. I was too busy putting a tire on it. How much did those tires cost, by the way? For the... Because I remember someone commented, yeah, the 8,000, that blue, and they were saying those tires are uber expensive, well, which they are. A little over $2,000 for the tires. For the two tires. And who paid for that? Are you complaining? <laughs> No, I like fixing up my old tractor. And we need it for what we do. Can't use it without tires. We gotta get the front wheels on. And remember there was a certain way that I had to go to get them off when I took it apart. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what that was, no. You had to get two off at the same time. Was it the first? two off and then one on so I'll have to put the one on and then the two you can go back and watch the video or I can just fight with it that's what I like to do do it the other way it looks stupid you said yeah some people bolt the some people just put the wheel on the outside and look stupid if you do it that way my opinion and john i am not entirely sure what midge is doing she probably hears a bird up in the tree it's like she's hiding behind whatever that stuff is and Thinking something is just gonna jump out and land in her mouth. Land in her mouth. Oh, I did almost have to for her to catch it. So. She's so stealthy. <laughs> Midge. Midge. Athlete extraordinaire. Something's gonna land on the, oh, oh goodness. That must have been like a fly or something. Uh, probably an acorn falling on a tree. <laughs> She's on the prowl though. Whatever it is, it ain't getting away. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. There, tires are on it. All I do is get the rest of the sheet metal painted, put back together, and it's back to work for this 80-year-old tractor. It kind of matches your shirt. Parts of it. And the dumpster. In this round pen, we have Miss Brandy. She was adopted out a while back, but ended up being returned to the shelter. She's been spending time in this round pen. We're just not able to be as consistent as we'd like to be with her. So today we're gonna get her loaded up onto the trailer and get her over by the barn so we can start using the catch pens to make some progress with her.
You're okay, honey. I missed it, yep, but we got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Indy's wasting water again. You're wasting water again. Don't just look at me. Get out, Goofy. Girlfriend. You just gonna stay there? Thank you. <laughs> okay, now look at it, it's all muddy. And D. Over to the barn, Brandy goes. So before we let her off the trailer, we're gonna try and get a halter on her. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So close. There you go. Good job, Brandy. We're just gonna have Brandy hang out in the catch pen here for a little bit while we get Buddy and Monica loaded onto the trailer. There you go, good girl. So as I'm sure you all remember, Leah adopted Buddy and yep. Kaya has been doing a lot of work with Monica while she's been here. So she has decided that she is going to officially adopt her and take her home as well. So we're gonna get them loaded and we're hoping this goes well. Say, don't get excited yet. There it goes. Stop. There she goes. Get you run through me. I can't push her too much. Monica. Oh, 
a different job offer so unfortunately it was a hard decision but I'll have to leave but like thought I could get out of here without adopting a horse but Mr. Falcon here has stolen my heart so something about him I always wanted a Belgian and a paint and so I get both in one and horse <laughs> so you're adopting him I am adopting all gonna right. Come home with me. Gonna work with him. I'm excited. <laughs> the same transition. Yeah. From this into a nice rideable horse. Nice rideable horse. All right. Well, let's do our one, two, three, and make it official. See if I can get Kenny to get close to me. You're like, no, no, but I'm running back. <laughs> with time, with time. Maybe we can have an updated one. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. So on a count of three, I'll have you say, "I said, of course, to the horse." Okay. Okay, one, two, three. I said, of course, to the horse. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> I said, of course, to the horse. And smile. Oh, boy. I said, of course, to the horse. And smile. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, oh, more. Oh, oh. Yeah, we know. <laughs> it's gotta be cold for them. Whoa. I was gonna say, who's that easy business hire? Tell yours, Kylie. Play with him a little bit, maintain the fences. <laughs> <laughs> Should Milan go back to my pasture? Um, so, can she, can she have rent here for a week till we come back and get her? Hey buddy.
felt that. Pretty, that nice soft eye. Nice kind eye. This is really stretched. Try bar shoes on him. It's kind of the only shoe you can put on a horse that's foundered that bad. Like how bad would you say it is? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Do you think we can break him up? Yeah. We got to take his toe off though. It's like cutting down a tree and letting it regrow. Do you think it'll help him? It doesn't seem like that, so I'm gonna give him some food right now. Yeah. Let me go grab some shoes. You're all right, fella. You're okay, I'm just gonna help you. So this is just a bar shoe. It's got frog support, so. Okay. So being he's insulin resistant, kind of a mechanical founder case, um, his foot is in a lot weaker state. Um, so the idea of this shoe is it's gonna offer complete support all the way around and frog support. And then we're gonna put in the sole for extra comfort, we're gonna put some Equipack. Um, just keep them comfortable. It's a foam board to help with laying a perfect bead for the silicone. Shift your weight. There you go. He'll be another Daphne case. Like that long too? Probably. Yeah, okay. Just, I mean. So whoever adopts him, try to adopt him close. Okay. Just that way. Maybe you could keep him. Well, get him going on the right track or <clears throat> get a farrier that'll do that kind of work. So you're gonna adopt him? <laughs> <laughs> There's no bueno. No good. No bueno. No good. Did you see his lamina? The lamina is all Obviously this needs to be flushed and balanced, but 
So that's so soft that the nippers just sunk in like when you take a hot spoon and ice cream. That's how soft that is. And that's stretched about three quarters of an inch. Manageable, but not fixable. So. You said the other one was eight out of ten. What did you say this one was? Twelve. <laughs> I, but it's one of them, if you get them comfortable, and you get it trimmed up nice, that lamina will retract a lot. Do we have a plan B? Well, drugs are B. We're on plan C. Yeah, dirty drugs. You wanna? I had to remove the microphone from Polly so it didn't get broken. So he's just he's he able to get a foot up after a little bit of a fight. So Red he's one. gonna quickly try and trim it. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> That was like a jump scare in the camera. This is Merrimack's last foot. Quick and efficient, and now his feet are trimmed. <laughs> so we are putting Buddy in the stock. It is just too hot today to be putting up a fight with the horses, so we want to make it as comfortable for them as we can and as comfortable for Polly as we can.
experience the, the hear what you have to say about oh. these. Oh. That was so much easier than I expected it to be. Yeah. It's it's stinky. Mm -hmm. This all here is gonna come out. And then it'll look even shorter. <laughs> she gotta have shoes go back on. That's like a six hundred and fifty dollar shoe job. It's like it doesn't look expensive. For the front. <laughs> the cost on them is like fifty dollars. Yeah, for the front. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Polly said they're pretty brittle, so. Even though we got a lot of rain, yeah. So this should help with that. Do you want a regular shoe on her or a bar shoe? Whichever is the best for her. Okay. What are you thinking? I want to get her foot on the stand and take some of that toe back but like at one angle to get her foot growing again in the right direction versus but I don't know if she put her foot on a stand So what I've seen with him is his hoof walls are starting to crumble and his sole has started to grow faster than his hoof wall. So I think we did him three weeks ago ish and he's already where you can see he's chipped everything off and underneath his sole's grown up. But we can't take any sole or he'll bleed. I've seen this once before. When the horse was put down. I was also only a farrier for about two years at the time, so I hadn't seen it before. So to me, it was clear as mud. Um, with him, ideally, I'd like to take a sample of the foot, like a chunk of the sole and a chunk of the hoof wall. It could be something as easy as it's just hard and dry out and he's brittle or it could be like a keratoma that's separating the hoof wall away from the sole. I've only checked this foot yet but from the looks of it fronts for sure. If it is a keratoma 95% of the horses that have it require surgery. Um, what's that? And most people, when they, like if, whether you take it to Madison or the U or down to Ames, um, there was a girl that lives down by Rochester. I don't do her horses, but a friend of mine who's a farrier down there, he was telling me her horse, hit, she had a nice big Palomino gelding. And he had a start of a, he thought it was the start of white line the way it was separating. And it turned out to be a keratoma inside the foot and she took it to Ames and they did the surgery. It was like 12 grand. Six months later, she ended up putting the horse down anyways. So. The other thing I noticed, and maybe you've already mentioned this, is like all four of his feet. Yeah, you see them, like they're, they're square. Feet. Yeah. It's like, I guess I wait till they pick up that one. I just don't like how aggressive that growth line is. Yeah, it's like very, very close. And it's weird because all of a sudden they'll go from being sound to I'm not getting up. And at that point, just... So here's what we're running into. His sole is growing so fast and then it's starting to flake off. But 
it acts almost it's like hard like a founder case but it's not really founder and then you look here where this hoof wall is all brittle and you can see the separation in there you can see the separation there you can see where it's starting to separate there mm -hmm. most cases I've seen white line starts at the toe works its way back not on the sides which I'm not a vet I can't tell that but my educated guess from what I've seen it's a keratoma I'll still take a sample of the foot I smell it a lot of times <laughs> yeah it's like rotten there's the one I want okay this is a normal foot. Yep. Put him down. Here we come. The figwit needs his feet done today, so Polly's gonna try and get him into the stock. Yeah, he clouds, I know.
come my way. And the dragging. <laughs> Good boy, Figgy. Good boy. Yeah, see, it's still a, still a ground. Now into the stock. Oh, bud. Good boy. Good boy. It is extremely hot here today. It is muggy, it is sticky, there's barely a breeze. Polly is sweating in and out of multiple shirts. So we're gonna cut back on some video a little bit so he can show some bare skin and help cool himself down some. This is Scrappy. He was an owner surrender who had been saved by his previous owner from a very neglectful situation in Missouri when he was four. She had been working on gaining his trust for the past two years, but due to health reasons, I had to let him go. She liked my type of training style with the horses and felt I would be able to help him more than she could at this point in time. So when Scrappy first arrived, we had him in a smaller pen, but we ended up moving him into a bigger pasture, which we had worries that we weren't going to be able to catch him. I did end up finding out that he comes up very quickly for grain, and you can catch him that way. So once I have him caught, I bring him into a catch pen, and I've just slowly been working on being able to pet down all of his sides. He gets very nervous when you get past his neck. So I've been slowly working on getting him down that way. And as the days go by and working with him consistently right away in the mornings before everybody gets here and it's nice and quiet I'm able to I've been able to get him to relax and let me pet all the way down to his butt and I've been able to also start picking up his front feet
I even got scrappy to the point where I was able to brush all the wind knots out of his mane. Scrappy's going to need some time and some patience, but I think he'll come around just fine. So with Kristen coming out here and helping us crank through all of those vet evaluations that we had, we are now able to start getting our training evaluations in with all of these horses. <laughs> so we are starting today with Orville. He is said to have um, 90 days with a couple trainers uh, that he is broke to ride. The oh gosh, biggest thing with him is that he's just really scared and really nervous. So we're gonna see how he does today. I'd say he knows what he's doing. There you go. me <laughs> doesn't fit him the best Okay. Let go of the gate. I'm unclipping him. 
So sometimes we have horses that come into our shelter that are too small for our trainers to give riding evaluations on. Corbin is our hired barn help, but fortunately he is small enough to get on some of the horses. So today we are having him ride Ted around to give him his first initial riding evaluation. If it's all right with mom. <laughs> Mom might have to send Dad a couple pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun? <laughs> Smile, Gab. <laughs> 